Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another unboxing. So in today's video I'm going to unbox the recent release from I believe it's Amazon. I think it's an Amazon exclusive. I'd ordered it such a while ago and it did turn up this week and I've been on and on about keeping it but I thought do you know what it's Christmas this is my present to myself. That's the danger of pre-ordering things and forgetting about it but anyway it is the 4K Ultra HD box set of Back to the Future. There we go. Sorry about the glare and everything. There we go. So it is 35th anniversary edition. So it's the 4K and Blu-ray. To be honest, I don't even know what's in here. I just remember seeing it and pre-ordering it. So all three films, first time it's done in 4K. I'm looking forward to that. I do love the Back to the Future trilogy. If I had to rank them, I'd do one, three, two. I absolutely adore the first one, and even the third one, all my first cinema experiences. But anyway, so I'm just showing you the back quickly. Uh, over an hour of all new bonus features. Right, so there we go. So it's three steel books, okay. One Blu ray bonus disc. Right, do you know what? Let's just pop it back down. Let's open it up and actually see what it comes with. So I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so back. So I've taken all the cellophane off and you can see here it exposes the dashboard display from the three films. And I really like it's got the three dates from when he goes back. So yeah, it's a cardboard box, essentially. You've got text on the side, nothing on the bottom. Again, text on the side saying Back to Future 30th Anniversary. Again on the top if you turn it over so you've got the flux capacitor there that's pretty cool i do like the back of it it's kind of a, a matte and then you can see in certain areas it's more like a, a different like a satin style so yeah big thick box so let's open it up and i've not seen this yet so let's give it a take the lid off and see what we get inside so top comes off and i'll place this over here right so a VHS <clears throat> so this is a looking at it is a cardboard box in the style of a VHS well, there's something rattling around in here so yeah Back to the Future 35th Anniversary Trilogy it says I do like the design I do like the design of the old VHS I like that that looks really cool hi-fi yep so it's just a box a VHS style box so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that out of the way for the moment and have a look what's in here so looking at it there we go little so this is where must be all the gubbins inside so take that off again really good quality boxes so what do you call that a plectrum is that what you call it or your guitar players so this obviously this is a Gibson plaque I'll call it a plaque uh, can you see that I feel focused there we go. Oh, my. oh, dropped it. Maybe can. There we go. You can tell I don't do many of these up close ones. But yeah, when he plays in part one, Johnny be good. So, I mean, yeah, that's cool. What would you ever do with that? I don't know. So, it's that there. What's this then? A magnet, I think it is. Just a sec. Yeah, I've got a speaker stand there. I was just sticking out. So, that's a magnet. Very thin. Very, yeah, very thin and flimsy. But yeah, it's pretty cool here looks like a blueprint for the DeLorean see if I can open it up within shot yeah well flux capacitor powered by the flux capacitor it says at the bottom unmodified blueprint of the DeLorean that's pretty cool I think that'll look actually really cool in a frame I like that I do like that what we got here looks like a timeline or something well, this is a weird uh, size paper. So, there we go. See if I can get it all in. It's, it's very long. So, yeah, Doc's time travel. So, yeah, it's a timeline. You can see 1885, 55, 85, 2015. So, yeah, that looks pretty cool. I don't think you get a frame for that. It's very, it's a long and thin. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, that's cool. I don't know what you gain do with that, but... Nice little thing to add in, I suppose. So I'll put that there, out of the way. All right, so what's all this here? Looks like newspaper cuttings. All right, so yeah. 
I mean, they're pretty cool, but what would you do with things like these? <laughs> if anybody's got them, what, what, if anyone's picked up this, what do you do with all this stuff? I do like it when you do get little bits like this, but what do you do with it? Do people read them? Again, yeah, looking like, yes, yeah, so there's a couple of, again, newspaper cuttings. Let's open this one up quick, so I'll show you all. Marley jailed. So, yeah, looks like there's four of them there. Gang jailed. So, two of them based on the USA Today style. So, very thin to make. So, you get four of those. Two USA Today and two of the, what do we call it? The Hill Valley Telegraph. So, I'll pop them down there. Postcard of Doc and Marty there from part three. Very stern looking face. Yeah, cool. Ah, that's cool. So this is like a, what do you call it? I forget what you call it. I've done this before and forgot what you call it. A lenticular, that's it. So it's a postcard. That's pretty cool. Is that a postcard? Yeah, again, a postcard you'd never use. But I do like that. So obviously when they start changing the future, the characters start fading off. That is really effective. I don't know if it's cameras picking it up. But for me, here, you can really see them disappearing. That is really nice. I like that. Next one is, right, so this is the tombstone of, well, it's Emmett Brown, but it says Clint Eastwood, if we should change. No, up, down, there we go, can you see it? Again, I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but Emmett Brown, Clint Eastwood, they're really effective. That's really good as well. Not, no way as good as that, that is really, really good. You get a copy of the Greys Sports, oh. Alamac, is that how you pronounce it? So this is what obviously Biff steals to do all the betting and etc. It's not hugely thick. So yeah, I like that. That'll be a good display piece if you've got like a shelf and want to do a display. That'll sit quite nicely. So then in here, what do we have here? A continuity script excerpt. Would I ever read that? Probably not. But I suppose it's cool to have. So yeah, there we go. So in the VHS box, you get loads of bits and bobs. I must admit the best thing I think in there is this postcard here. I think that is really, really good. So what I'll do is I'll quickly stop it here, put all this away, and then we'll come look at the steel box. Okay, so once the VHS style box is removed, this part here, which sits in there, you can see the part one steel box sat down in this kind of cardboard, quite sturdy cardboard layout. Let me get this out. So there we go, there's the part one design. So I believe, looking on the back of the J card, that you put all three steel books together to make a picture. I'm just looking actually, on the J card, I don't know if you can notice it, but it's got the text. And it looks like, well that's not English, is it? It's a return, so is that French? So this one doesn't have any of the font. So on the spine, you got back to feature. I actually prefer it with no text on the front, so it creates a picture. These will be, I think these are going to look quite nice frames. So there you go on the front, Hill Valley clock, the rear artwork, Doc and Marty. And that's nice. So let's see what we get inside. So yeah, inside artwork. So I've got the glare, 4K disc, standard Blu-ray. I've read that the Blu-ray here isn't any different to the previous releases, but the 4K is a lot better. So yeah, that's the first steel book. I do like that design. The picture isn't the sharpest. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but yeah, I do like that. So if I put that down, the other two must be in the back here, the back of bottom. So I'm assuming if I do this, there we go. So there's the other two. That's nice that they're in their own separate little compartments looking at it. So here we go, part two. So if we get part one, there we go. So that's, hmm, okay. So you can see here part one and part two, it's the same backdrop, but the car's obviously being extended across. I mean, I suppose it's hard to do one continuous backdrop image across all three. So anyway, there we go. So this is part two, Martin his car there. Hill Valley sign, police car. So look at the rear artwork. 
Now here he is on the hoverboard with the gang behind. That's a good bit of artwork. There we go. If you can make that out, Back to Future Part 2. And the spine. Oh, I like that artwork inside. Yeah, 4K disc, Blu-ray disc. There we go. So that's Back to Future Part 2. So finally then, last but not least, if I can get the bugger out, will be Part 3. Yeah, there's a, there's a central divide down the middle there. So there we go, Part 3. You can see the clock tower. Well, clock tower. The, it's all being built. I do like that. So if we... I'll, I'll put them all together at the end. Really nice design at the front. There we go at the back. Spine. Let's have a look inside. Ah, so this is where the bonus disc is. Just quickly take that out to look at the artwork behind there. It looks like you've got the train. It's really nice inside artwork. And 4K disc is normal. Right, so let me get rid of the box and let's put these together and see what they'll look like as a collective. Sorry if this video's gone on long, but there we go. I do like that. I do actually really like that design. Let me know below if you like this design of this release, the Steelbook design. It'd be good if you can get a Steelbook frame where you can have all these in a in like a nice framed picture. That'll look really nice. But as a set, I'm really impressed with this. Some of the bits I would I'd say which come were a bit throwaway. Uh, but overall, nice steelbook set. So yeah, there we go. Quick unboxing of the new release of Back to the Future 4K edition. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you think it's worth the money. Let me know if you thought the extras included are any good. And yeah, I'll see you again soon on the channel. Take it easy. Bye.